First, we need to upload the audio into Mahara if we're going to do it that way. Uh, we'll look at other ways of doing it as well. But first, we would normally do that. And secondly, we're going to then display that in a page. So let me just show you what I've done with my audio. So I've come into content, into files. And uh, what I've done is just upload a file, choose the file, navigate to it, upload it. And you can see my file displaying here. It's an MP3 file. You need a nice compressed format of audio, so not a proprietary one. An MP3 file is the best. There are lots and lots of conversion tools you can use to make sure that you've got an MP3 as your output. Um, Audacity is just one of many different ways of file conversion. So the MP track, MP3 track that I'm going to use is here. Um, audio and video files are quite large generally. This is a small one anyway, but you do have to keep a, an eye on your quota here. I've got quite a generous quota within Mahara, but um, some might be more limited. So you might be restricted to the amount of audio and video you can actually upload within Mahara. So having uploaded my content, let's come to my demo page and show you how I'm going to edit that page and add and display the audio. Uh, let's just make a little bit of space. We'll get rid of that. And I'm going to put the audio in here on the right-hand side. So what I'm actually doing is, again, from the files, images, and video selection, I'm going to use embedded media. Pick it up, drag it to where I want it to be. And, and now I'm going to give it a title. And here is my audio file. So the system is showing me which files I've got, and particularly the relevant file for this sort of activity, uh, with a select button next to it. I can also decide the size of the display, but by default, the size will be fine. So I'm not going to put anything in there. I'm just going to click Select. Now my audio file is appearing at the top of the page as a selected file, and I'm going to click Save. Now at the moment, I'm still in edit mode. So although I can see the name of the track, I can't see much else. I'm going to click Done, and then come back to my demo page. And now you can see I've got a little player within the page to play the audio back. So that was nice and simple. Um, obviously, the smaller the file, the easier. Keep it to MP3 files, and the display there is quite straightforward. Um, so that's how to insert audio into your page.